Hello everyone. Uh, I just came back not too long ago from my uh, BotCon visit uh, on the Saturday. I more than likely will not be going back uh, tomorrow um, because it was I wasn't too impressed with it. I don't feel the need to go back for another day. So yeah. Here's the uh, comic it came with. It has a picture of animated Black Rachnia and Toy and Toy Black Rachnia, and they look pretty closely related. I have not really read anything yet. It has an intro interview of Corey Burton, it has some really cool pictures of Megatron. It has a uh, Wave Two and Three. I'm really excited about Jazz. He's gonna be cool. Has some little formers. This is, I'm really, I really like this picture of Megatron all fucked up, missing his arm. I'm gonna scan this and put it on my computer, make play around with it a little bit. And it has the comic and shit, but this was free, so. And it has the Master Collector newspaper, which I really don't give two fucks about, but. Yeah, the dealer room was pretty cool. Uh, it was really fucking crowded, though. As you saw in my uh, BotCon, actual video BotCon, I got Encore Meister, which is uh, which I going to be keeping box, which looks really nice. And with the per that purchase, that I, th with that um. The dude gave me this for practically free, which, uh, man, I had the camera really close. Which has, uh, pretty much every toy from, uh, season three onward. It has Headmasters, Target Masters. With the purchase of any, this was at the, uh, tfsource.com. Uh, booth and they gave this this, this for uh, five bucks, but um, they, he actually sold it to me for only two bucks. It has really cool, it's really cool pictures. It has a checklist of every of everything the toy comes with. Um, and this, I, I totally forgot about this character. I mean, Repugnus. What the fuck is he? Is he a cicada? Or like one of those larvae that a cicada turns into? I have no idea. The fuck is he? He's a, um... Doesn't actually say. Re right there it says Repugnus Insect. He's just some sort of insect. And I have, uh, I have the reissue of this one with the Target Master Hot Rod. But yeah, really cool. Normally the retails for 30 bucks. I would not pay 30 bucks for this. I'm glad I only paid uh, 2 bucks for it. And, as you can see, I got another transcanning Optimus Prime. The truth is, what the fuck did I just do with it? God. The truth is, I got this one two weeks ago. I just did have an open. I don't want it, because this one's pretty nice in its packaging, so I wanted to buy another one so I can open it and so I got another one so I will be reviewing him shortly and it's actually a really almost a really scary story with this because uh, after I bought him I went over to a booth to buy a Masterpiece Megatron and I set him down to give to do the money and I just forgot him there and I didn't realize until I was uh, getting back in the car I was like I was just going through my packaging and I was like where the fuck is it? I was freak, freaking out. I was cussing. I was echoing in the parking lot. And I ran back to the convention. And I was just praying to God that it was still there. And yet it was. And I just took it. Which I was thinking, if you could just take stuff that was sitting on the dealer room, I wonder how easy you could just steal something from there. 
but oh well. So yeah. And I've been wanting this for a long, long time. It is Transformer Sports Label Convoy. Man, the Mad Pro. I wanted to get this on eBay. I like. I haven't checked in a long time. But man, this is going for mad, mad money. I mean, this by itself is going for about a hundred bucks. I got this for thirty. And he's a little shoe. He's a little shoe. I didn't get Megatron. All I really wanted was Optimus. But yeah, he's a really cool one. And it's going for two hundred bucks for get Optimus and Megatron together. And I got another Masterpiece Megatron so I can finally take one out and review him. The box on this one is uh, near, is about as close, perfect, perfect as you can get. So, I'm going to be opening the one I've had since the first release because the box on this one is imperfect. Such as right there. And one time when I dropped it. Right there. Oh, too much. As you can see, yeah, so I'm going to be opening this one. So I'm actually really excited now that I'm going to be, be able to uh, play it for Masterpiece Megatron. So, yeah. Uh, what else do I have to talk about? Um, not much I can really say about it. Uh, oh, yeah, the panel. The panel was absolutely lame. Alright, so like I went to the panel with the uh with David K, Tara Strong and Bumper Rumper Rumper Stumpskin, the guy who does the uh voice of Bumblebee and Blitzwing. That guy was cool. He did the voice of Blitzwing and uh Bumblebee at the at the panel, but man, all the people that went up the line to ask questions just kept on asking questions to uh, David K. Yeah, David K was there. Not, did I say Corey Burton? Yeah, I think I did. But yeah, David K was there and he was kind of a dick to everyone. He was just like, oh, I don't know. I mean, he didn't like try to, he didn't act his way out of not knowing. He just said, I don't know. And, and pretty much he doesn't care. And he told, I don't know. And all the the people were there were not very enthusiastic and I just sat there for 15 minutes was like this is kind of lame so I just walked walked off and went shopping again oh by the way I got a hell of a deal on that masterpiece Megatron TF Source uh, was selling them for 75 bucks believe it or not so yeah I'm I'm really I think I almost got them for Japan prices. I think uh Ruben's uh, when I was talking to him one time he said he they're still selling for 70 bucks. So I think I paid pretty good on them. All right. So uh be looking for a masterpiece Megatron review and Transcanning Optimus review and if I take out the Nike convoy. Until um, next time. Thanks for watching.